How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to share with you guys the best three web hosting providers for WordPress. Now, if you want to jump straight to the answer, I would say that the best two right here would be Hostinger and Bluehost, but I have provided a third option if you guys are interested, and that would be SiteGround. But while it's true that you can use any web host for your WordPress website, a WordPress specific web hosting solution delivers better service, performance and support for your WordPress sites. If you've been feeling frustrated with your non WordPress specific web hosts and want something better suited to WordPress, then these three high quality web hosting providers will definitely do the job and more. I've gone through about a dozen or more web hosting providers and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best WordPress providers. Now let's start with Hostinger, which is going to be the most affordable WordPress web host. Hostinger stands out for its low prices and stellar loading times. How low? Well, Hostinger's current managed WordPress starts at just $1.99, which is unbeatable compared to other web hosts out there. So for just $2 per month, you can build 100 websites. And if you upgrade to the WordPress starter plan, you can build from one website up to 100 websites for just $3 a month. And of course, you get unlimited free SSL with all the plans and plenty of other features, though keep in mind that the WordPress staging tool is only going to be available for the business WordPress plan and the pro plans. And just to give you a little perspective, for the price of a coffee cup per month, you can build up to 100 websites. Now that's an amazing deal. With their great prices, does that mean you'll be sacrificing quality? Definitely not. You're going to get solid uptime reliability with Hostinger. Loading times are speedy. According to their website, their server response time clocks in at around 43 milliseconds, which is very quick. And to give you a comparison, that's just 13 milliseconds slower than a lightning strike. In my testing, every hosting or hosting type, um, including the shared VPS and WordPress hosting, averaged well under one second for loading. And hosting recently implemented a new feature for PageSpeed Insights, where you can measure your site's speed and see its performance history with just one click. And if you find that you want to improve your loading speed, the new server transfer feature will recommend what to do. Uh, the company also recently added an advanced malware scanner and a WordPress staging tool so you can test changes without actually changing your entire life site. But again, this tool is only going to be available for the business and WordPress pro plans. Overall, this is a great web host if you want good prices with quality hosting. And if you want to maximize the number of sites, you can host at a low cost and get signed up with Hostinger for a very low cost. And I would say even if you're just starting out, going with the business WordPress plan is definitely worth it as it will still be cheaper than the basic plan with Bluehost, which starts at $4.95. Now, speaking of Bluehost, Bluehost is a favorite for many because it's one of the three web hosts that WordPress officially recommends for people to use. And that's about as good of an endorsement as you can get for WordPress hosting. Now, one of the main reasons why people enjoy Bluehost is its simplicity. Once you get started, you can install WordPress immediately and you'll have your bare bones site live with just 15 minutes. From there, you can move on to fully creating your website. Another reason that Bluehost is a fan favorite is because it has millions of users, which means that the kinks and issues with setup and continued hosting of websites has been worked up. In the rare case that you do run into an issue, help is just a call away as you do have 24 seven live chat support, as well as phone support internationally, not just in the United States. And their support actually consists of an award winning customer support team if you find yourself with any questions or concerns and they can actually hold your hand throughout the entire process so that you can create the perfect website. And if you want to go for Bluehost, I wouldn't really recommend going for the 12 month plan because that means you will be renewing at the usual rate. So you want to make use of the 36 month plan before you continue to renew at the regular rate at 999, of course. Uh, but that will apply after 36 months instead of 12 months. So if you want to go for Bluehost, make sure you go for the 36 month plan. 
But then again, if the price doesn't sit well with you, you can actually get more resources with Hostinger for a cheaper price. Because when you kind of compare the features and resources, you're getting quite a bit more with Hostinger, which is why I recommend it to most people. But thanks to the Bluehost support, it's actually great to choose if you're just starting out. And yes, you will be on shared hosting. So if you or someone else on your server gets a huge spike of traffic, your site could go down. But honestly, this almost never happens. I've had websites on shared hosting for years and never had a site go down with Bluehost or Hostinger for that matter. And if you want to upgrade, Bluehost also offers managed WordPress hosting. And that starts out at $19.95, which is definitely not the lowest price I've seen, but it's still one of the lowest cost options out there for managed hosting. The value you get from Bluehost can be beat. It's powerful enough for most websites and the service is widely recommended throughout the industry, especially considering that they have an award-winning customer support team to help you out through the entire process. Bottom line is Bluehost is a great option for the vast majority of people, especially for those that are just getting started, but get ready to shell out a few more dollars than the usual. Now, the third choice we have here is going to be SiteGround. And SiteGround is going to be the best for e-commerce websites with easy site migration. And it's another of WordPress's recommended web hosts. They offer incredibly affordable managed hosting solutions that are powerful as well. And where they really shine is how easy they make it to migrate to their host and set up an online store. Because you can migrate to their host with their free migrator tools, which let you easily port your old website over to their website in just a few days time and no development or coding knowledge is required. You can also set up an online store with the powerful combination of WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll be able to set up an e-commerce site to start making money in no time. Seriously, it just takes a few clicks. I also like their advanced features for WordPress, like automatic updates and enhanced security on all the site ground plans. You also get free daily backups, and that's an amazing deal for the lowest tier pricing. This covers most of the problems you could run into, freeing up more of your time to focus on your business or project. I recommend the startup plan. It gives you 10 gigabytes of space and up to 10,000 visitors for just one website. And this intro level plan is only at $3.99 a month for your first year. And of course, it's paid up front. You can boost your WordPress or WooCommerce site even further by going one step up to the Grow Big plan. And that lets you tap into SiteGround's own ultra fast PHP to speed up the visitor experience even more. Plus you get the safety of on-demand copies of your website's backups, all for just $6.69 a month. The biggest plan is the Go Geek plan for $10.69 a month with 40 gigabytes of web space, priority support, staging plus Git, and the ability to white label clients. So all in all, this is a great web host for web stores on WordPress, uh, e-commerce sites who want to switch to a better host, and anyone who wants solid security and easy site backups for their pages. But as far as a value web host for the money, then Hostinger is definitely going to take the cake here as it offers a whole lot more features and a lot more storage than any of the other WordPress hosting providers providers and for cheaper. So at the end of the day, it's up to you uh, whether you want to go with one over the other. So that's pretty much it for this video, though. If you guys are interested in further discounts for these web hosting providers, you'll find the links in the description down below if you'd like to jump straight to that. And if you'd like to learn more about these web hosting providers, you'll find the full reviews down below as well. They're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee, though, so you can test drive these web hosting providers for 30 days risk free. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.